The St. Bonaventure Bonnies hosted the Xavier Musketeers last night at the Riley Center, marking the Bonnies' third Atlantic 10 game of the season. The Bonnies started off with a lot of ball hawking energy on defense and played well with a lot of intensity throughout the whole game. Bonnies sophomore center Yusu Endoy led the Bonnies with 16 points along with two key blocks on defense. However, the Bonnies could not handle the Musketeer offensive rebounding, which recorded 16 rebounds and proved to be the difference in the game that went down to the final buzzer. Bonnies lose 66-64. Xavier improves to 10-6 overall, 3-0 in the A-10, while the Bonnies fall to 7-9 overall, 3-0, 0-3 in the A-10. Let's take a look now at our community calendar. The fourth annual Leanne Recreation and Sports Fair will be held Saturday and Sunday of next weekend from 10 to 5 p.m. WBTT will be there, so come over and say hi. In today's Take a Look at This, fishermen find themselves in a situation too close to a famous movie for comfort. Plus, not your ordinary goldfish, and what happens when technology fails? The video that will have you talking is next, and take a look at this. Cue the theme song to Jaws and take a look at what two fishermen encountered off the coast of Australia. Oh my God, great white shark. And all of a sudden, from the shadows, comes this big head and I just freeze. And Jaws was recently on TV and you think of the last scene there where he jumps up on the boat. Mesmerized and slightly terrified, the fishermen watched while the shark circled for 40 minutes. Eventually they decided they should not test their luck any longer and they headed for shore. A fisherman in Michigan had a much smaller but no less amazing encounter. He hooked this giant goldfish. It's 15 inches long and weighs more than three pounds. This experienced fisherman says in his two decades out on the lake, he's never caught a goldfish. And take a look at this. Let's uh, take a look at your headlines this morning. And as we do, we're going to talk about a cold start to the week. This is uh, exactly what we're looking at here. Eight day planner. This weatherman isn't trying to be funny, just resourceful. His weather computer crashed before Monday's broadcast, so he drew his graphics. And in case you're wondering how he felt about his situation. This is how I felt this morning. This is how I felt when I realized I could just draw everything. And when I realized that we're finally getting the computers back, this is how I feel right now. For Take a Look at This, I'm Elizabeth Corridan. Well, Bradford veterans can use Veterans Square in Bradford for the next five years for free. The BBTT has been fundraising for the last month to try and raise money because the city of Bradford had been charging the veterans for the use of that square. The reason that we made our goal was Colonial Media and Entertainment CEO Jeff Anderlonis handed them a $1,000 check. Let's take a look now at our Severe Weather Action Team forecast. Rod Kenner has details. Now the Twin Tiers official forecast. There's a chance of snow showers tonight. It'll be mostly cloudy and cold with a low of 13 with wind chills below zero. New snow accumulations will be less than a half an inch with we'll winds to 15 miles an hour. There's a slight chance of snow showers Friday. We'll wrap up the week with a mostly cloudy day. Our high 23 with wind chills below zero. Friday night, there's a slight chance of snow showers. It'll be mostly cloudy on low 19 with we'll winds to 15 miles an hour. We'll kick off the weekend Saturday with a slight chance of snow showers. Partly sunny skies on a high of 38. Sunday, there's a chance of snow showers. It'll be cloudy and breezy. Our high 24 for Martin Luther King Day on Monday. Look for a chance of snow showers. It'll be mostly cloudy and cold. Our high only 19. I'm WVTT Severe Weather Action Team Forecaster Rod Tanner on WVTT. Depend on it.